Hi friends, welcome back. Today we'll see gate problems. So the first question of the day is the state transition matrix phi t for the given system is okay. So this is very easy question and interestingly it's two marks problem. Hardly it will take two minutes. Two marks problem, straightforward problem. No right, no left, no daya, no baya, just a sida, right? So let me start it. State transition matrix phi t, you know very well the phi t is the phi t is given by L inverse of S i minus A inverse, isn't it? In time domain, this is nothing but e to the power a t. This is your phi t. Everything is given in this question. A is given, a given. So let's form this S i minus a first. So a is minus zero, and uh, this will be zero minus one is zero. What you will get is a is minus one is zero. You will take inverse of it. So adjoint a divided by this. So it will be a is plus one is zero. Divide by a square. Okay. So inside you will multiply with this. So it will be one by a is one by a is square. One by a is zero. Take the L inverse. It will be one t one zero. Here is the answer. Option D is correct. Isn't it? Two marks problem. Hardly will take two minutes. Easily you can solve with this. Now some of you may be thinking interestingly that directly I can do this problem like we know the property of phi t. If phi t is 0, a t equal to 0, phi t is identity matrix. So t equal to 0, this will be not identity, this will be not identity. But this 2 will be identity matrix. So we can't eliminate, we can eliminate two options but not all four options. Okay. So by go the uh, go by procedure only, then only you'll get the answer. Let's come to this problem. This is the SFG given. You have to find out the state equation. So we have done this. How to find out the state equation or how to form the state equation for the given SFG, isn't it? So friends, these two terms are nothing but the integrators. So they will show order of the uh, equation will be two. Correct. So if order is 2, now you have to form this type of equation. Order is 2, two variables, state variables, you will take x2 and x1. And why I am taking x1 and x2 here? Because before that this integrator part is coming, it means here definitely for 100% sure you will be having x1 differentiation. x1 this. Here I will have x2 this. Now what is the next step? The very next step is you have to form the equation in the form of this format because this format is nothing but the state equation format. Wait. So let's find out the equations now. I need the equation for uh, x1 days and x2 days, isn't it? So this, what is all about this branch? This branch is nothing but, forget about this. This branch. This branch is nothing but summation of this and this, isn't it? So, in this branch, who is coming? The integration of x dot dead, that is x1 is coming here. Isn't it? So, this point is, or this branch is x1 plus u. x1 plus u. It's going to be multiplied with minus 1 and giving you x1 days. So x1 days is minus x1 plus u. So it is minus x1 minus u. Okay. Now, now similarly you have to find the x2 also. x2 days. So x2 days is nothing but here. This and this. Summation of this two. Isn't it? So, x2 days is nothing but x2. Here it's coming x2 plus. Here 1 multiplied with x1 days. 
x1 dash. This is your x2, isn't it? With minus in multiplication. Why? Because this, isn't it? So please expand it. What you will get is minus. You will get x2 minus x1 minus u. Now, if you will rearrange all these things, what you will get is, you will get the matrix. And that matrix I am going to write directly. x1, x2 is nothing but minus 1, 0, minus 1, 1. And here it is x1 and x2 plus minus 1, 1, u. Isn't it? So, this is about what they were asking. They are asking for the state equation, right? So, for this question, we have so many, uh, d d four options. So, one of the options is this. This is our correct answer. Okay? For the time being, I couldn't write all, but this is our answer. I think it's easy to you. So, when you will practice it, it will be, you know, very easy to f frame this equation. Okay? So, practice for four to five questions. Now, now, let's come to the next one. This is the 14 to marks problem. A, B, C given. And we have to find out the system is controllable, observable and all this. So, first to find out the controllability. You know very well. This is the order 3, cross 3. So, maximum value will go up to A square. So, this is A, B. A square, B. Like this. For observability, you will find out this one. That is C transpose, A transpose, C transpose. Here, A T square, C T. Okay. Now, now let us find out Q C first. So, when you will frame this, this matrix by doing all multiplication and this you will get 0, 4, 0. 4 minus 4 is 0, minus 8, 4 and 0. Now, let us find out the determinant of this matrix. So, determinant of this matrix when you will find out, it will not equal to, definitely it will be equal to 0. Why? Because when entire row is 0, it will be 0. So, this is uncontrollable. Uncontrollable is okay. Okay, now let's find out observability. So when you will solve this question for the observability, what you will get here is this. Okay, and let's find out the determinant of this matrix. You will get one. So this is not equal to zero. So this is observable. This is observable. So answer is it's observable but uncontrollable. Okay. So this is your answer. Very easy question. Now next question is the fourth one. A is given minus one zero zero minus two. If the initial conditions are here x one zero one x two zero minus one, the solution of the state equation is the solution he is asking. So again, very easy problem. Two marks. A is given and all this. I had to find out individually x1 and x2. So, can I frame the state equation? Uh, see, state equation is nothing but for this x1, uh, this is t, x2, t, it's nothing but your a and that is given minus 1, 0, 0, minus 2. Multiply with x1 and x2. And here the initial conditions are given. So, we will use them. Okay. No input parameters are given. So, this is our state equation. Now, now what is x1 days? x1 t. Derivative of this is nothing but minus x1 t. Isn't it? So, now can you take the inverse lap or can you take the Laplace of this? Very easily you can take it and it will be x s minus x zero minus this one is x one s, isn't it? 
Now x naught is given to you. That is one. So as x is when you will find out, or this is x one actually. Uh, as x one here. So it will be, you know, finally I am writing for you people. It's, it will be like this. Okay. So the x one. When you will find out x one is or x one t. We are looking for x1 t. Let's just take the inverse of this. You will get e to the power minus t. Okay. So this is actually x1 s. Please rearrange this equation. You will get this. Take the l inverse. So l inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 is e to the power minus t. Same thing you will do for the x2 also. You will frame the equation. So x2 t x to t you will get a is e to the power minus 2t. Now you can check in the answers. The option c is correct I think. Yes. This is the answer. Okay. Now this is the 2017 2 marks question. 2017 2 marks question. Again whatever we have done this question. This is 2014 question. This is 2017 question. See that first. This state space equation is given. Okay. With the initial condition, initial conditions are given. Okay. When xt denotes the unit step function, where is the xt? Sorry, ut. This ut input is given as unit step function, then the value of this. So, indirectly, what they are going to do you, what they are saying to you is find out x1, x1t, and x2t. Put in this equation and come with the limit t tends to zero solution. Isn't it like this? So, if you are solving the previous year papers for all subjects, if you are from electrical, you can solve for the instrumentation and EC people. If you are from the EC background, you can solve for the both of branches. Eh? Okay. So, the point my point is it's enough. If you will do all this practicing, so it's more than enough for the gate. So gate is the exam like this. What we can do. So let me come over the question. Frame the individual equation. One is I'm I'm doing for you x one t is nothing but zero x one t plus zero x two t plus 0 ut. So everything is 0 in the output of x1 t also it will be 0. Now let's find out x2 t days and this is equal to it's a 0 x1 t plus 9 x2. I'm sorry this is minus x2 t plus 45 of ut. Okay. Uh, let's find out the x1 t. Sorry. Uh, first uh, convert into L domain. So this is x2 s. This will be minus 9 x2 s plus 45 by s. So let's find out the value of x2 now. So x2 t when you will find out you will get x2 t I am writing for you. But uh, don't convert into time domain. Why? Because I'll tell you I am writing this x2 s here. And the value of this I got is uh, 45 divided by s, s plus 9. Okay, this is my value. Now here we go, here we have to find out this. So limit t tends to infinity, x1 square is 0 plus 45 s, s plus 9 whole square. Isn't it? No, no, no. This is in time domain and this is in frequency domain. So this thing is wrong. So let's come here. Limit t tends to infinity. X1 t is 0 plus x2 t square. When you further expand it, it will be limit t tends to infinity x2 t only. Isn't it? So here you can apply the maximum power theorem. This will be like 
limit s tends to 0 s into x to s isn't it you have this value so s into 45 divided by s s plus 9 i think we go there this s s will cancel out so finally you are getting 5 so this is your your answer required value you are solving for this right so this is answer the 5 is the answer for this question so come here very interesting very easy get two marks problem uh, two to three minutes problem actually the p is given like this and they're asking find out the e to the power p how you will do this so this is kind of transition matrix phi t we have seen phi t is nothing but e to the power a t isn't it or you can convert this thing into the l domain so you can write this l inverse of si minus a inverse isn't it instead of a i have p so what you have to find out is l inverse of si minus p inverse you have to find out this isn't it so so the p where is the p here is the p let's form si minus p first si minus p so it will be s minus 1 2 s plus 3 okay now in the next step you will take the inverse si minus p ka inverse okay so this ka inverse jab loge to kaisa banega you will interchange these two things s plus 3 s and you will change the sign it will be 1 it will be minus 2 okay and in denominator determinant of these things that is s s plus 3 plus 2 Okay friends